as guidance, mentorship, and support as speaker and resource person. With this, today's journey is our 394, and we are moving fast towards 400th webinar. Due to Zoom bombing in the meantime, after 323rd webinar, we have restricted our direct entry to Zoom and we have circulated as usual our YouTube link to all because two times we have been victimized for Zoom, Zoom bombing. This is new technology where one person enters and make havoc with 20 other persons. So welcome, welcome, sir. Dr. Karthikeyan, sir, really I am grateful to you. You are our guardian, mentor, and really well-wisher of this platform by which our journey have been able to achieve this figure of 394. I would like to welcome Jagdishwar ji, Lakshmi MK ji, our second speaker, Dr. Sudha Karthik ji, and our Professor VK Agniyotri ji. We would like to request VK Agniyotri ji for his welcome address. Welcome, sir, Professor, former Professor and Head, Department of Swastabrat, Uttarakhand Ayurveda University. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Pawan Sharma ji. Namaskar. Uh, a very good evening to all of uh, you. Uh, our, uh, uh, we welcome our all the dignitaries, especially our uh, uh, Professor uh, 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 along with our professor, uh, Dr. K. Karthik Enji, who is the founder of Ghost from Chennai. And uh, the second one is Dr. Lakshmi M.K., Associate Professor of Commerce of the College, Thiruvananthapuram. So these two are our uh, guest speakers. Along with, uh, we welcome our Dr. Doma Jagdishwaji, uh, Dr. Pawan Kumar Sharma ji, Dr. Shubha, Dr. Karthik, and Dr. Dr. C.P. Sharma sir. Uh, we do hope that uh, rest, of, rest of our dignities will be joining uh, very soon. So uh, as per our customary, uh, we welcome all our distinguished speakers of today, today evening uh, in our 394th webinar, which is uh, of its uh, unique nature. It's an international um, webinar competing a lot of lot of uh, newer newer world records uh, with the, a continuation of say almost 22 23 months so uh, with these few words we welcome again to our guest speakers along with our all the dignities who are there in our platform and also those who are listening from their places along with those who are viewing in our live uh, uh, presentation in youtube so thank you very much. We, we welcome again and we uh, return Dr. Pawan Kumar Sharma ji for the further uh, development. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Our main speaker of the day today is Dr. D. Karthikeyan, sir. He is the founder of DOAST, which he will guide. And Autism Day, without his name, is really is not feeling good. So we are overwhelmed and uh, uh, grateful to Dr. D. Karthikeyan, sir, for his blessings. I would like to welcome Dr. D. Karthikeyan, sir, for his guidance, for care for autism. Preeti, please start PowerPoint. Uh, can you go to the first slide, please? Good evening, everyone. Om Namah Shivaya Nam Shivaya Nam. I am indeed honored and very grateful for uh, giving me this opportunity and then uh, inviting me to this August platform which has achieved a lot of milestones and it is going to shatter a lot of records in the future. 
for uh, sharing the knowledge, which is a godly pursuit, which uh, Pawanji is uh, doing it with a lot of energy. And uh, today, we are going to look into autism in a different way. And uh, the topic is care for autism, which is a huge, huge topic. You know, uh, it is uh, deeper and wider than the ocean. Now, if you look at the screen, these children radiate energy, happiness, and smiles to all of us. This is what everybody wishes for. When you get married, you want to beget children. You want such lovely children. And uh, why is there nature created children with the condition called autism? I remember our uh, honorable past president and uh, knowledge guru and dream captain APJ Abdul Kalam in the year of 2008. We had a conference in Delhi, uh, Indo American Conference on Autism. And uh, I had the privilege of presenting my uh, topic there. And we were all invited uh, by uh, Professor APJ to the Rashtrapati Bhavan. And uh, he hosted a tea for us in the lawn, various uh, a hut made for him. And he calls it the thinking hut where he would, uh, uh, you know, prepare all his seminars and all that. So when we were sitting and chatting, he asked, why did God create autism? I, I told him, but for autistic children, we wouldn't have realize how blessed we are, how blessed we are to have an organ called the brain with uh, so many dimensions and so many default functions. But he was not, uh, you know, happy or satisfied without the uh, answer. So the question of why remains in all our minds for how many years since 1940s when Kanner identified autism. Next slide, please. The care for autism is a topic. Is it the care for the autistic children or care for the autistic parents and care for the autism caregivers, professionals, and it goes on and on, on and on. That is why I told you this is a, a fantastically chosen topic where we have to have a three-day uh, seminar on that with uh, more speakers. Because autism is an enigma with a lot of contradictions and gridlocks of multiple systems. Right from the day Kanner identified those children in 1940. And Right from the day when Bernard uh, Rimland in uh, USA in 1964 fought against the strong psychiatric lobby, which ruled from 1940 to 1964, that autism is psychiatric and it is that she, these children are born to uh, mothers with uh, rape, I mean, uterus like a freezer and these are refrigerator children and all these children were kept in asylums and then a lot of cruelty was there, a lot of deaths were there and uh, Rimland as a single man fought against the system and said the whole condition is neurobiological and it is not psychiatric and uh, he went on to establish the Autism Society of America and it is only from that particular day a lot of countries started research on autism on the neurobiological front. 1964 to 2023, still autism is an enema. We have contradictions between the systems of the body, systems of the brain, systems of the science, medicine, and the society. And uh, 
what not, the systems of the planet also. All these. And again, there is reductionism in the mainstream medicine. And on another way, or uh, on, on the other side, there are blind men seeing elephant kind of treatment techniques and approaches. And all these, after more than 80 years, have not provided peace to the families. That is the problem. And if you have a child with autism, there is no peace at home. And that is what we are going to discuss now. And today, how to bring peace in the families of children with autism. Can I have the next slide, please? Now, how can we care for autism? I have added the word community because autism remains as a separate community. And uh, most of us think it is a problem next door and it is not mine. So why should I care? And uh, this statement is because I've been working with autism for the past nearly two decades and I know how it is, how painful it is. Now coming to the care, who are all the people or who are all the pe uh, groups which can care for autism the children and the parents. First and foremost are the parents. The parents need a lot of support because the problem starts from the day the child is identified or diagnosed. I don't know how many of you are aware of parents separating and then getting married to somebody else and parents getting divorced parents uh, dumping the child in an NGO and then uh, separating and going away, and parents not identifying their children as their own children and then creating a separate uh, domain for them. All these are happening in the society. And coming to the relatives, we have interviewed uh, or examined more than 2,000 children in this uh, our journey of ours and uh, the blame theory or the blame game among the relatives whether it is the in-laws or the sister-in-laws, father-in-laws, mother-in-laws, husband and wife is very very high. Everybody blames others and that brings in a lot of agony and sorrow. So the first thing when we diagnose, we tell them, forget the blame theory. It is nobody's blame. And that has to get percolated into the relative circle. And the care should go for the parent when they get the shock of the diagnosis of autism. Otherwise, they break down. We have to understand that autism is a disease not suffered by the child. The child is happy as it is. Left alone, it will be happy. But it, was, it, it is the parents who get the first direct attack and they are the sufferers. They have to be taken care of in the primary level. We have to, you know, give a lot of counseling to them. Their health is very important. Their wealth is very important. And uh, you can see here in autism community, the riches to rag story is very high than the other society where the rags to riches story prevails. Here, because of the agony, because of the time, because of the loss of uh, you know working days, people have riches to rag stories. That's very pathetic. We have to take care. And these can be taken care of only by the friends and the relatives. Friends can go to some length and then not beyond that. Neighbors. 
the children make a lot of noise, neighbors don't tolerate, and then they complain, they harass the parents, and they have to shift from house to house. And they don't get house for rent. The landlords don't give them a place to live because of an autistic child. All these are problems in the society. And we think it is not in my campus, so I will not bother. So this should change. How can it change? Vita has to come on a constant basis in the visual and the print media. Is it coming on a constant basis in the visual and the print media? No. Once a year, on an autistic day, the buildings are lit up in blue and then people write about autism. And if you read those papers, the contents will be the same as they came last year. It will be the same Xerox copy. And people listen to it, tear their newspapers, and then, then they go on looking after their work. I feel nobody cares. The visual and print media sometimes approaches. We want to make a documentary. You just tell us the story. We will employ somebody to do the acting. And what do they project? They project as if having an autistic child with extra abilities is a blessing. That's only less than 1%. 99% of the families suffer. That is not brought into limelight. And every meeting, if we have to go or if we have to meet a donor and then talk about autism, they don't understand what is the word autism. Is it mentally retarded? Is it Down syndrome? Is it CP? And then finally it comes. But in actual reality, the percentage of people suffering and the population of people suffering is very, very high. And people don't come out. For every child who is diagnosed, there are three to five children who are not diagnosed because they don't come forward. All this has to be written in the visual and the print media and then they have to come to the attention of the government officials and the politicians and policy makers. They are not aware. They are not aware of the flight. I mean, the plight of uh, the families. When was the National Trust established in India? Just recently. And how much funding comes to autism research? And autism research itself is a very, very difficult subject. They ask for control controls. They want randomized clinical trials. They want a pilot study. All this may not be available in the autistic research domain. Even in the last meeting, um, some Kerala researchers told, we have halted that project because we did not have funds. What is the fund requirement? Four to five crores. This is peanuts, which is not being given because the government officials and politicians do not know the pain. It is only when an official or a politician has an autism child in his family, he will realize that the, the pain is so much. That is the plight of autism community in India, not only in India, in all the countries. <clears throat> Medical professionals and research communities. How much do they work together? Basic science people and clinical professionals. How much of pediatricians, how many number of pediatricians actually involve themselves in autism health care? You can count it in the fingers of one hand. I don't know. And uh, till so far, I have not found another ENT surgeon working in autism. I've been ridiculed. Who are you to work in autism? You're an ENT surgeon. You're not a 
neurologist, you are not a pediatrician. So I just shy away from them because this is my passion. I do it. And that's the reality. Now, <clears throat> coming to the money. Every family spends a lot of money on the children. <clears throat> Whether it's uh, OT or speech or special education, you need at least, excuse me, <clears throat> 5,000 to 10,000 on a very conservative estimate. In cities like Bangalore and Hyderabad, it runs into five figures and six figures. There is no guarantee that this is going to give you a normal child. There is no timeline which is stipulated. The parents are not taken inside the therapy room. So these families give up give up hope and then they live in a negative mentality. Every new child that I examine, if I ask the parents, they say like, my child cannot speak. My child cannot do this, cannot go to a normal school, cannot be a normal life. That is the main answer in 95% of the parents that we have interviewed. We are not infusing the positive <clears throat> hope into the families because clinical and basic science people do not work together. They do not exchange notes. That applies to the mainstream medicine and traditional medical people. I am fortunate that this group of predominant traditional medical people have <clears throat> accommodated me inside to share my views. Thank you so much. So we need a lot of philanthropists, organizations to concentrate on autism. Rotary, I've been telling them again and again, you have done a polio program. <clears throat> you have to concentrate on autism because the numbers are growing. They are not willing to take up autism because there is no single treatment methodology. There is no single entity certified to certify <laughs> autism. Whether it is three years you have to diagnose or five years you have to diagnose, whether <coughs> the certification has to come from the pediatrician, psychiatrist or neurologist, still there is a fight whether to form, follow a CARS, uh, this thing, or scaling, and then we have different languages and interpreting CARS. So much, so much of contradictions. I should mention here that uh, the whole uh, families are possibly taken care of predominantly by non-government organizations and then um, families with autistic children creating an NGO and then uh, offering their care. So this is the broader picture. It can be much more broader. I, I just touched upon something. So ultimately it boils down to you and me to work something credible for this highly talented but not channelized children call autism. I'm taking myself, me, I came into autism, autism treatment scenario because I felt so sorry for the parents. As an ENT surgeon in 2000, when people come with this condition, uh, my speech therapist said like we give speech therapy. I asked her, like, when the speech is not generated in the brain, how can you uh, give an external speech therapy and stimulate? That's what we do. And we don't allow the parents to be inside. So that what motivated me. I felt that there could be a neurochemistry problem which is not addressed. So we have to do something about it. I started my uh, journey or my exploration in the year around 2000. Next slide, please. 
Next slide, please. Next slide, please. I uh, established the DOST Integrated Therapy Center in uh, 2003. Before that, uh, I did a lot of uh, homework for three years. I went around uh, centers in Coimbatore and uh, Kerala and in Chennai, where uh, traditional medical science people were treating uh, children with MR, autism, and then I learned about people coming over from US to Kerala to get treated. And uh, the, the problem was there was no documentation. And then the people who treat them here had no idea about autism. They said, like, we do this and then they come and take it. They say, like, the children are better and then they go. So I thought I should uh, work on it and then create uh, a documented proof that these traditional systems of Indian origin, our own origin, our own soil are giving a lot of benefits to this condition, which is a nightmare in any Western country. I uh, started simplifying the whole thing because uh, if you go into the literature, there are uh, you know terabytes of data which are uh, and technical jargons which confuse you hypersensitivity, hyposensitivity, hypervestibular, uh, hypovestibular. They just kind of scare you out. So I simplified it, told the parents that it was a hardware software incompatibility. When the hardware is not able to accept the software of learning, which is happening by default to us, we, we become engineers, doctors and software engineers, and uh, it, we all have the same hardware, but the software is different. These children, the hardware is not there. So there is no point in uh, you know, trying to force the software inside. We have to correct the hardware. That was my first point. And over a period of two years, I was able to understand that chronic uh, the autism can be explained. It need not be a syndrome. It could be coined a term as disease with a specific pathophysiology and a possible treatment window. So I started mentioning that it is a chronic dynamic reversible encephalopathy. Chronic because I said the denominator is inflammation and which is an ongoing process. It is not just that it is in utero or it happens after the 18 months of life, or it happens after a vaccine or all that. It, it is a chronic inflammatory process and different biological systems in the body. <coughs> and this ongoing uh, inflammation impacts the connectivity between the connect functional areas of the brain. So I strongly believed when the inflammation comes down, these dormant areas will connect and then start working. And it is a dynamic thing. People were going by symptoms, symptomatic approach. We deferred. We should not go by symptomatic approach. The bodily symptoms could be the manifestations of metabolic derangements that have a strong root inside the individual. They signal between multiple uh, molecules, organs, and then exhibit as symptoms. I said, going by the symptoms is like cutting the branches of the tree. We have to go to the root, correct the root, then the branches will correct themselves. When I told this to professionals, they didn't agree. Actually, they ridiculed me. And uh, sorry to mention this in this forum. In 2006, 2007, mainstream medical people laughed at me saying like, you are using barbaric techniques and then getting into trouble. I didn't mind. I didn't care. I believe that it is a re re uh, reversible encephalopathy. And if I get 
uh, effective treatment window, I will be able to reverse the symptoms and then make a child semi-independent by the age of 18, uh, at least 18. If you look at countries like USA, the autistic individuals after 21 are the source of all the troubles there. So I deviated from the hardwired concept, which said like autism is untreatable. I'm talking about 2003 to 2006 period. Even now, it remains almost the same. We hypothesize that uh, the inflammation in the gastrointestinal system is the primary inflammation, which affects the brain as a secondary organ. And uh, the cytokines from the gastrointestinal system pass the brain, I mean, uh, the blood brain barrier going to the brain, affect the neuroglia, and cause impairment in information transfer between the functional areas. And this happens in children who do not have robust molecular architecture. Because those times there was controversy regarding whether the autism is genetic, single gene or multiple genes and all that. We hypothesize it is a two hit mechanism. The vulnerable genes in a vulnerable individual were affected. And most of the genes which go into the brain development get affected. And that is why the autism presents as a package with each individual differing from the other. But the millions are affected and we can't go for individual treatment. We have to go for a denominator treatment. That is what my approach was. Going by this, treating people, we restored molecular order and we activated the dormant neuronal pools. Children became better. And if we cast them by the age of three to five, we were able to reverse the symptoms. In some children, we were able to erase the diagnosis of autism. That gave me immense confidence by the period 2010 to 2012. Next. Next slide, please. Why am I saying my history? Because if there is an autism in India, autism conference in India, or an autism workshop in India, 75% of the speakers are from Europe or America. There are two or three Indians who look at the American speakers and then take down notes. I wanted to tell you that whatever I am talking is my own clinical hands-on experience. And I take pride in that because like I am using the tr traditional Indian systems of medicine. And I devise the pathophysiology by the lead wires given by the mainstream research. And I am not looking for the perfect answers from the lead wires from mainstream medicine. I am taking the good enough findings. Because I believe the present set of children have to be treated and then only we can go for perfection of the system. And who will take care of the present set of children if you are waiting for the perfect answers to come from the mainstream medicine? That was my argument. So those integrated therapy center for autism from 2003 used biomedical therapy to rewire the brain of children with autism from the state of remaining inside a bubble to becoming independence. We replicated results with this hypothesis that gave us enough confidence. This was presented in US with the people who were scared about one in 25 incidents. And I went into the same 
Autism Society of America, which Rimland founded and then presented these findings. And I had my own support base from them. I was able to convert many people into my belief. This gave me a confidence and another thinking that I have to really take care of the suffering of parents and I have to unite the parents to form a forum. It took more than five years for me to find parents who are selfless to work for the benefit of other children. So I gathered some parents and then in the year 2021, we gave birth to UCO, coined the name United Constellation of Parent Empowerment. This is the answer we gave to the world. What is the plight of my child after me? This is the question, ladies and gentlemen, every parent with autism goes to sleep with and he doesn't sleep. I'm happy that uh, Karthik is here. He's one of the trustees of the UCO. And uh, if we look back after 10 years, this will be a milestone establishment to the extent that I explored. Such an entity is not there in any country. We are the first to form that. And the UCOP Dost Amalgamation has given birth to Sadhani Ketan. About Sadhani Ketan, I presented a video last presentation. And it is an ideal ecosystem for autism treatment where we have established this center in midst of nature's abundance. And the first time, boldly, 24 seven, the parent is with the child, with the professionals and taking care of the child all the time. It is not one hour OT in one week. It is not three hour speech therapy in one week. It is 24 seven, 365, where the diet is controlled, the therapies are done, and there are more than 12 different play facilities including jacuzzi and hydroplay. All this go to improvement of circuits inside the brain. And we are about six months old there. We are happy, immensely happy, and we are surprised about the positive happenings inside these children's brains. So it is a unique, nature connected residential ASD treatment facility with the parent. Next slide, please. So we have taken autism care with a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles, carried it all along for the past 20 years. Now we have come to a platform where two entities, two nonprofit associations, those and UCO, have combined together to give a Nature Connect Center. It's a therapeutic and a vocational entity where we are going to employ these children into farming so that their farm produce will earn them dollars. It is to be seen. And we are going to create uh, a township where these children get treated, become better, become occasionally active, and they become an earning member, and the parents are proud, and they are living in peace. It is a township because it is not the my child concept here. Your child is my, my child. So everybody takes care of the other children too. And it is a one-stop roof where from diagnosis to effective treatment to vocational 
development takes place and the vocation is not just uh, the mundane uh, vocational activities it is possibly forming for possibly an industry all these things have to be seen i'm working against time to achieve all these things for the care of the artist this is the effective answer which i have given for the families who are worried what is the plight of my child after me next child please next slide so ladies and gentlemen we have understood that autistic behavior will be better understood by studying the intermediary biological processes that is where we can find a treatment window unless we find a treatment window we can take care of autism we took the good enough research leads from the western medical science the western medical science has a lot of leads but the, they are still hanging like threads they are, they have not been woven into a pattern because they don't have medicines to give if there is a intestinal problem they have they give antifungal they can't give steroids but our traditional system is offering us the expertise of yoga the oliation therapies and all that which work on the serotonin which modify the electrical wave patterns of the brain which we have effectively used and we have woven into a beautiful fabric called integrated therapy and that integrated therapy has now given birth to sadani ketan and we proudly say because pawan ji has coined this autism pride day day now i say with all the pride that we have taken enough pains in 20 years of our life to give birth to sadani ketan which is an ideal ecosystem for autism care and treatment this is a request to all of you if you can help us we can go to greater heights this treatment window could be established genetic expression patterns could be studied when we do that we can validate our systems we can validate yoga we can validate oliation medicines we can validate complex medicinal formulas that the traditional indian system has the possibilities are immense so i request all of you to help us we have given you a platform called sadani ketan which i feel can be an effective tool to take care of autism the parents the child and the community thank you so much mesmerizing sir mesmerizing i was really mesmerized by your concept and vision regarding autism it is great agnyotri sir thank you thank you pawan sharma ji namaskar uh thank you so much professor dr k kartikeyan ji uh, you very intelligently with the deep knowledge very coolly elaborated all the aspects of the autism and especially for those children who are suffering from it it's really occurs to any of the family where such babies happens to be there as a family member persons may put so many questions uh, on your address on your speech but it's uh, difficult it's very difficult if they have not seen any of the person who in really in need of so many support and all that uh, you touched the first of all the matter of policy and the scarcity of budget 
regarding the projects if you are projecting or such type of needed persons are to be taken into consideration there is always a need of budget of course the volunteers is of of also of great value as you told it's not a matter of one day in one uh, one hour in one week or seven hours in one week it's a 24/7 and that to 365 days assignment then only one can cross the whole of the scenario which is a person is suffering from you also talked about the basic uh, uh, say uneasiness with these children like uh, if they are uh, not uh, able to perform their activities by their own they are always in need of the support it may be a support by family member it may be a support of neighbors it may be support of society or it may be a support by the ngos of course the government is not uh, uh, be kept uh, aloof but two things you projected very well the one is ucop 2021 and also sadarniketan 2021 really these words touched me uh, i can also infer this sadarniketan in other way that those who are said in aniket aniket is sense that they have got a, a four walled room or house but uh, the care taking is not that much which they need because of their vikalangata divyangata it's not a matter of one uh, organ or one system's problem that it is belonging to the nervous system disease or so the whole of the body is supposed to be maintained uh, as we uh, have the holistic approach especially a rajic system of medicine we always take, uh, take a person a living being as one entity not as a liver is uh, not cooperating or that there is a problem in kidney or in lungs we will only confine on the subjects no we take the whole body uh, as a holistic approach so goes the case with the autism cases so those who have uh, who are said and all uh, uh, in other words aniket they are uh, supposed to be taken care of by the sada niketan so really touched this word self and also its uh, uh, meanings and its paraphernalia is working a lot for this person uh, sir i would like to have a just recapitulation of your dosed dosed uh, word itself Uh, if it is of abbreviation i would like to have a little elaboration also so that our rest of the members will also be um, uh, made sound with your approach thank you sir yeah like uh, like the word uco dost also stands with lot of meaning it's a doctrine oriented art of symbiotic okay. treatment because we have a divide in india the mainstream medicine and alternate systems when people fail to get benefit in the mainstream medicine they come to alternate systems and the actual scenario is the mainstream people blame the alternate systems and the alternate systems blame the mainstream system but we have lot of gray areas in medicine if we work together we can give spectacular results so the integrated therapy is a concept which china has taken uh, leads in 1990s and uh, america also has the complementary alternative medicine camp so i thought the integrated therapy here uh, i would take autism as one of the lead uh, conditions where uh, uh, people it it falls into no man's land nobody wants it the neurologists don't want it and the pediatricians don't want to own it so let me give relief by this thing and that is why i coined it as doctrine oriented is based on the literature and uh, art it medicine is an art and it is a symbiotic treatment symbiotic is symbiosis you know is living together so the mainstream and the alternate systems need not be competitive they can be combined that is the meaning uh, that those conveys and again those means friendliness and then yep. uh, all that kind of stuff so i would uh, request uh, a permission from uh, pavan ji to uh, allow mr karthik who is uh, founder trustee of the uco to share a few words now can i ask him to speak a little now 
Sure, sir. Great, great, sir. Your uh, your uh, explanation is great. It, it is full of knowledge, and uh, it's not an abbreviation. It's an emotion. It's yes, full it of is an emotion. emotion. It is an and emotion. It's full yeah. of emotion. Yeah. The yeah. way yeah. you drafted the word uh, in a form of abbreviation, it has got both meanings in a form of dost, friendly, friendliness, or friendship or friendliness at the same time, elaboration with the uh, symbiosis. So symbiosis is one word for that. that we are needed doctors. We need diet. We need family members. We need money. We need everything, and at the same time, the T20 itself. So those two will perform in a one unit. That too, we can say it is an holistic approach. So thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. We would definitely we will please to invite Dr. Karthik as such. A, it depends upon Dr. Pawan Sharma ji as as he is interested to call the second speaker, or in between he can also take the view of Dr. Um, Karthik ji. Thank you, sir. Over to Pawan Sharma ji. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Definitely, uh, I am welcoming Dr. Karthik on this platform. Welcome, Dr. Karthik. Welcome. Yeah. After Dr. No, no, first, yeah, I am not a. First of all, I am not a doctor. I am a parent of a, a oh, autism sorry. child, okay, okay, fourteen years old autism child, and uh, welcome, welcome. I am I am one of the managing trustees as part of uh, UCO, okay, United Constellation of Parents Support. Thank you, thank you, Pawanji. Thank you, thank you, Ji. Welcome, welcome again. So, I would like to request Dr. Lakshmi M K. Dr. Lakshmi, am I audible to you, Madam? Yes, sir. Am welcome. I audible? Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, shall I share my screen? Yes, yes, sure. Is there any problem, madam? Yes, yes. Dr. Lakshmi M K is Associate Professor, Department of Kumar Bhatia, Government Ayurvedic College, Tiruvannanthapuram. Welcome, welcome, madam. Okay, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you and uh, thank you, sir, uh, for inviting me for this presentation. Uh, and uh, respected uh, Akni Hotri sir, Pavan Kumar Sharma sir, uh, and Arthi uh, Gain sir also. Actually, we are hearing for the second time, and uh, very happy to see uh, sir's initiative. Uh, for rehabilitation of these uh, autistic children and also today is a very happy day uh, because uh, with autistic uh, pride day so uh, the children who are always unique and totally interesting and sometimes mysterious as from the definition itself uh, I mean and from the uh, an abbreviation that we usually use in this uh, from this itself uh, uh, actually we can say that they are they are actually very interesting because today is a very happy day as you, uh, as i already told because i have come uh, from a function today that is the release of the book of uh, one of my uh, patients actually uh, and his his name is uh, aditya and I, i i i think in the last discussion itself they have already told that uh, this aditya actually is a 9 year old boy and he has impaired social interaction and a very uh, impaired language also uh, and uh, repetitive movements slight movements are also there 
uh, repetitive restrictive movements are also there but uh, actually what this is uh, special uh, speciality is that he usually uh, writes writes in a notebook and in that notebook he usually writes only in a page he writes only two or three letters and that too with the help of his uh, mother okay and actually the mother came to our opd and uh, she showed me the book okay in which uh, the um, he has written all this and uh, when we just scroll the pages we we came to see that actually in that uh, letters we can see that when we when we combine all these letters it comes into a what sentences and even though he writes only three letters in a page and if we continue reading that it becomes a complete sentence and uh, to our surprise we uh, came to see that when we combine it all together actually uh, it it became a what it, as his autobiography he is writing actually actually we were surprised in the beginning that he was writing his autobiography even though he is not at all speaking to us and he is not at all responding to our questions okay so what we did was we uh, asked the mother uh, so you you make him prompt him to write more because he is interested in writing so just he needs only a little bit support so with that what we did was we prompted him to write more and uh, within i think around 6 uh, months 6 to 7 months actually we got a what uh, uh, um, such a uh, such a vast matter that we could publish a book today so in this autistic pride day i actually proudly uh, say that we could uh, release a book uh, what written by one of our uh, autistic uh, savant adityan uh, and uh, the book is actually in malayalam and it is adityan uh, the name is also given by him adityan autism oru kutram alla that means autism is uh, not a uh, what not a punishment okay or not a so that is the uh, that is the name he has given to the book okay so with this um, what with this proud uh, moment in this autistic pride day i would like to start my presentation uh, so uh, i am coming to the sir has given uh, in the what when the rehabilitative uh, measures that have been i am just coming as a doctor as a pediat ayurvedic pediatrician i would like to look into the treatment aspect okay because already he has given the uh, all the rehabilitative measures and everything that we should take care of i would like to go into the uh, what treatment aspect that we are doing so as you as we all know that there is uh, the autism is caused by many things that we have all our hypothesis that there there may be due to abnormalities in the brain structure or function or it may be due to a genetic component and genetic components are already being proved okay many papers are available that around 1000 genes are being found out that causes uh, heredity so uh, that causes um, i mean autism so uh, and definitely certain syndromes are also uh, explained and another important factors are environmental factors that we have already told about uh, sir has also explained about the um, vaccinations everything the pr presence of mercury and every environmental factor so all these hypotheses everyone knows so these are considered as the causes of autism and i would like to explain it in the ayurvedic perspective that means in ayurveda also uh, it is told that it is caused by what the um, one term just to explain the term that i i will mention it so that it will be understood by all the people so it is sahaja sahaja that means it is caused by uh, factors that affect the pregnant lady also so and garbhaja that means the pregnant lady as well as the gametes sahaja means uh, factors that affect the gametes okay so the sperm and the ovum so that is it is said that uh, if the uh, man or the husband and wife uh, uh, leads a unhealthy life or leads a life that is not according to the uh, Uh, sosta or dinacharya or sosta vritta that means the normal health normal life that should be dealt for a proper uh, healthy life if the mother and father are not involved in this then definitely their uh, what the gametes will be affected okay and that is the cause for all these type of conditions and it is not in a uh, what you say genetic aspect only it is also in the psychological aspect also it is said that uh, if a mother if a mother involves more in uh, what 
quarreling and everything that means if the mother's uh, psych, uh, psychological aspects is not good and she is always in a, a clash with the people and everyone that means her psychological status is not good then that can also lead to different uh, psychological as, uh, conditions in the children okay so that is one of the course explained in ayurveda so that is the important factor that we should consider now because uh, the psychological status of the mother and father as uh, as, well, as well as during the pregnancy period okay so that sh that should be taken care of so yeah, that impairment can lead to the uh, autism in children so that is what actually we are uh, what listening in our opds now because when we ask about the histories many uh, what parents are telling that their relationship is not good and uh, they are particularly the psychological thing so they are not at all satisfied sir has already explained so this is a, this is what is explained in ayurveda also and it is said that some uh, what as as we can say some post meningitis secular or some intranatal causes also can lead to uh, what autism like disorder and then then birth trauma also such conditions so that are actually causes some anatomical uh, deformities or certain uh, uh, what physiological changes in the brain uh, very minute changes so that can also lead to behavioral disorders then actually uh, preterm labor so they are all intranatal and uh, postnatal things that can cause some conditions and another important cause that is explained in ayurveda is actually Uh, what unknown cause an unknown cause in ayurveda actually is explained in a term called prabhavajam that means it is said that i don't know whether it is a, a what as you think in a scientific way or like that it is called as uh, prabhavaja that means purva janma krutha paba so that means it is it may be caused by some what harmful things that has been done by your uh, forefathers or your uh, previous generations etc like that so i uh, maybe that can be related to they still they may have some psychological problems and that can that could have caused made them cause do some uh, what uh, bad things and all so that is the that you can consider as the purva janma krutha paba and all so this is and also it is said that it is uh, it is uh, if you curse or if you do some harm to your guru Uh, you are teachers and the respectable persons in the society then that can also lead to such kind of uh, behavioral disorders in children so all this can be considered as the impaired psychological uh, mind or the uh, state of the uh, parents and the uh, what persons in the family so that can be considered that you should uh, it is not that all the persons are uh, have some problems in the in the but still when we enquire into the enquire deeply into the uh, what causes of autism in a, in the children coming to a opd definitely we are getting uh, some or other of any of this uh, causes that have been explained in ayurveda okay so then uh, another thing is that there should be that uh, there should be the tulya gotra that means you should uh, non consanguineous marriage uh, is important consanguinity can cause uh, disorders in children so that is also being explained and also the uh, adibala adivrutha that means the uh, uh, marriage with a very young lady that means early primary late primary so and the mother who has uh, chronic disorder so all these can affect the hormonal system as well as the metabolic system of the mother so this can also cause uh, what autism and other behavioral disorders in children so and also even uh, in ayurveda it is explained that the uh, the 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 that what the what is the state of mind of the mother and the parent and the father during the coitus that means the coitus that is meant for conception it is always said that it should be very planned the planned pregnancy is very important and the importance of planned pregnancy is also explained in ayurveda and that is considered as very important for a very healthy child both both physically and psychologically okay so it is said that if a mother is having or hunger or he she is very frightened or she is not interested in uh, having a coitus so that time if she is involved in that and she gets pregnant after this then that can also cause uh, such ये 
आ गई आवाज प्लीज कंटिन्यू हेलो सर हेलो यस प्लीज कंटिन्यू योर वॉइस इज अवेलेबल ओके 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 सो then so these are the causes that are uh, that causes autism then uh, uh, coming to the uh, pathology we can see that it affects the whole systems that is the nervous system uh, but the most important uh, aspect is the gat the ayurveda also considers gastrointestinal system as the uh, what uh, major cause or in ayurveda we say it is agni so the agni that means the Uh, process of digestion as well as the metabolism so these should be uh, considered mainly in children having autism okay and uh, all these are caused by the genes and the environment so the interaction between the genes and the environment and these will affect the cns the gastrointestinal system the immune system as a thyroid treatment what we look into is we, we first correct the, uh, digest, the digestive system as well as the metabolic system then we also look into the immune system and then only we consider directly into the uh, features that is that causes the features of the cns okay so as sir correctly said we are looking into the root of the cause so in ayurveda firstly itself we are looking into the root cause that is the pro, uh, digestion and the absorption then only we look into the uh, what important clinical features of autism like uh, uh, like impaired social interaction impaired speech etc first we will correct the metabolism okay and the and either if as sir said is it's a inflammatory some say that it is an inflammatory response so we will correct that and then only we go into the uh, cns okay so as we all know there is a it is all i already said that there is a very important connection between the microbiome and the uh, cns so in autism autism spectrum disorder also uh, we give more importance to the gut microbiome so that is why i already said we first look into the digestion and metabolism whenever a patient of autism spectrum disorder come to our opd we first correct their acne acne means the digestion and the metabolism so we correct we give herbal medicines for uh, correcting their digestion and improving the metabolism like uh, we say uh, we give uh, drugs containing uh, what uh, trigadu like ayamodaka like drugs um, then guduji uh, so such drugs we give and then only we go into the what uh, the 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 correct symptoms like impaired speech and all okay so all this oral microbiome we also give very importance to the oral microbiome actually um, we give medicines uh, that are uh, lickable or that is being uh, ha- that has influence on the oral mucosa also so that, that also we consider then um, all this and olfactory tract actually the olfactory tract while considering the treatment we give importance to the olfactory tract also gut microbiome is considered as an important cause okay so by our medications we usually correct that uh, dysbiosis okay and by correcting the dysbiosis we can correct the neural pathway the neuroendocrine pathway the immunologic and the humoral pathway okay so that is how we deal with children having autism spectrum disorder as sir already told that we can have uh, such townships and all uh, for the autism children but uh, what we are trying to do is by the management we are correcting we are trying to correct their uh, what the neurotransmitter pathway and uh, we are uh, correcting we are trying to correct their metabolic problems and we are trying to take them uh, or make them capable that so they so they can live in the uh, society or we, they can go to the normal school okay so that is what we are trying to do then as we all know the dsm 5 criteria now uh, difficulties in social uh, their clinical features that is emotional reciprocity then including trouble uh, with the social approach so all this we know non verbal lack of non verbal communication that is very important because most of the children they are all monotonously they are speaking only monotonous in the same way uh, without any emotions no uh, non verbal communication so that should be taken care of even in small children by even if you look look very closely into uh, uh, into the development of children uh, in the in the social and emotional development of children 
then we can identify autism even by one year of age because their eye contact their emotions uh, everything will be less in children with autism and if we identify early intervention will be the most effective method to correct the autism okay then uh, the stereotypic and repetitive movements so as we all know their repetitive movements are uh, rigid and inherent to routines that is the problem with the parents they cannot go anywhere they cannot take the baby for a uh, uh, for a trip or they cannot take the baby to outside uh, so all their movements are restricted so that is um, what uh, what their main problem is stereotypic movements also so these are the clinical features that we look into then uh, actually this is the what is explained in ayurveda about i already told you about the causes of ayurveda that is uh, um yoni pradosha manaso abhidabha that is it is said that uh, if the uh, if there is any that is uh, that is being explained as vaginal uh, uh, vaginal microbiome already that is yoni pradosha that is if there is yoni means vagina so if there is any vitiated any vitiation in the vagina then uh, any problem manaso abhidabha that is any problem with the psychological aspect of the mother then shukra so that, that means any problem with the gametes ahara vihara dosha so that is the most important part that modern science or the conventional medicine is not considering even now ahara vihara dosha so that is the important aspect the the, the diet and the daily regimen that should be corrected uh, whenever even uh, a, a, a young couple who is going to conceive they should take care of their ahara viharas so uh, if they are planning for a pregnancy then definitely their ahara and vihara should be corrected so they should take only congenial diets and then they should avoid additives coloring agents everything so we we always say about the uh, uh, management but we have to look into the prevention because the number of autistic children are increasing day by day in our opd the number of children with behavior disorders are increasing day by day so we have to take the corrective measures so when we consider the vihara we have to look into the social interaction of parents also that means nowadays what people are doing is people are not at all interacting with, with each other they are just uh, in the social media or they are just looking into their gadgets and very little time only they interact with each other so that should be changed and uh, interaction with the couples that is also coming uh, becoming very less so that should be uh, improved then only their uh, progeny will have that qualities okay then so these are akala yoga so that these are these are the causes that causes i mean these are the factors that causes such behavioral disorders in children so this is the factor that is explained in ayurveda and it is um, it has given more importance to uh, what the digestion that is the rasa dhadu we say so that means uh, the 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 problems in the gametes as well as another important factor that we should consider is the atma karma that means your behavior your inner self your spiritual uh, qualities uh, your sattva as we say that means your psychological state so all these factors will affect the uh, the coming progeny uh, and that can any impairment in that can cause behavioral impairment in the progeny okay so that should be taken consider and another important factor that we consider is the rasa dhadu as in ayurveda we say that means the 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 nourishment that is being taken that is after digestion what is being absorbed in the body so that is the important factor that contributes to almost all the diseases particularly the psychological disorders okay so because uh, uh, what is what our our body is formed is from the food that we eat okay so that should be taken care of so in the management uh, here in ayurveda what we do is actually we have an integrated approach as all as sir already told because uh, every definitely in psycho uh, psychiatric as well as in uh, almost all disorders uh, neurological disorders an integrated approach will be the uh, main uh, or the best way okay so uh, we uh, we do all everything that means applied behavior analysis social skill training occupational therapy then if physiotherapy is if needed then sensory integration therapy all these therapies along with ayurveda we do at our hospital okay and dietary approaches is very important different different approaches are there gluten free casein free diet everything is there but i don't think it is same for each children because each children is specific 
each autistic child is specific. Uh, no, all children don't have problem with gluten or caffeine diet. Okay, so that is actually uh, different in each children. Actually, what we do is, according to the digestive capacity of the child, we prescribe the diet. And the diet should be like that. It will be it should be easily digestible. Okay, so that is the main thing that we consider when we give the dietary uh, advice. Okay, but we usually avoid what fermented things, uh, then uh, additives, and then coloring agents. Uh, so such type of food, and also we uh, tell them to uh, increase the amount of vegetables and fruits in their diet. Okay, because they are rich in free radical. Uh, so we tell them to uh, uh, increase the amount of uh, vegetables and foods in their diet. Okay, so then uh, medications. Medications in Ayurvedic medicines we usually give. Then, uh, <clears throat> so these are the Ayurvedic management that we use uh, generally. As, you, as I already told, first we do uh, the correction of the digestion and metabolism. Then actually what we do is actually <clears throat> internal administration of the medicated ghee. You, you may have all uh, heard of the keto uh, diet. Okay, so the keto diet is considered as uh, very, very much useful in, uh, in autistic children. So in Ayurveda itself for the correction, Ayurveda actually this, this con condition is being included in a term that is called as unmada, unmada. So unmada means uh, it is uh, any deviation from the uh, normal uh, uh, what cognition as well as in their memory, as well as in their daily routine uh, and all the social situations or the, as we all say, we have a conditioning, no? The children are, uh, or how, uh, and today I'm speaking like this. I know the manners that I should, I should keep while presenting the things. And we all know that because we are conditioned to that. Then these autistic children, what they are lacking is that conditioning. Okay, so they don't think, they don't uh, uh, consider the society. They don't think about the people around them and all. So that is what uh, they are uh, doing. So, so what we do is uh, this uh, this condition is explained in Ayurveda as Udmada. Okay, so there also it is said that the uh, internal administration of medicated ghee in a large quantity is very uh, useful for the management of such condition. Okay, so first we correct the digestion and then we give uh, such medicated ghee, okay, in large quantity, in somewhat more quantity, according to each uh, what patient, individual specific. Then actually we what we do is the medicated enema that is called as vasti. And this medicated enema actually helps to correct the what we say about the uh, gut microbiome and all. We have already, uh, there is also management like the fecal transplantation and all as you, as you all have heard of. So this is not fecal transplantation, but we have we are doing it with medicated enema, medicated drugs. Uh, most of them will be probiotic like, and it will be, it will be in a form of an emulsion. Okay, it will have a kashaya. That means a liquid form in a watery media plus an oil form oil and it will be made into an emulsion and then we do the medicated enema okay then many many autistic children will have sensory issues as we all know so to correct that what we do is we do the head and body massage uh, usually either using the medicated powder as well as using the medicated oils so that depends upon the patient okay as you all know there is a concept of uh, what prakriti in ayurveda okay that means prakriti um, as you all know means that constitution constitution as well as the uh, characteristics of persons and that differs uh, according to the genome of the genome of the person okay so that is called as in ayurveda as prakriti and we have different measures different uh, what symptoms and signs are explained for each prakriti and we assess the prakriti of the child and then we do uh, either what uh, the medicated powder or medicated oil and what type of oil everything we do according to the prakriti as well as the clinical features that is being presented okay so it is individual specific to each individual okay then another uh, most important thing that we do is actually about this um, what the sapnya prabodhana as we know in sanskrit we say that means uh, we do uh, what uh, nasal uh, application, nasal medicines that is more pungent. Okay, so that will actually stimulate the uh, nervous system and will uh, make the child uh, what more 
uh, more more uh, conscious or they will try to and it is it, it is stimulate the nervous system okay so that is what we are doing uh, uh, and uh, either using what in ayurveda actually we say some powders like uh, rasnavi churna or some uh, oils like uh, what uh, anutaila okay that is being instilled into the nose okay and that will, that is not a continuous process we usually do it in uh, once or twice in a week like that okay and that will actually stimulate the system okay and uh, it will improve the uh, what co uh, the consciousness okay of the patient okay so that is what we are doing this is actually another process that we do that is the takradara that means i'm pouring of medicated buttermilk actually in the uh, head of the patient then uh, this is also another important uh, management that we do here in uh, ayurveda that is the application of medicated paste on the head that is shiro leba we say and this has a very good effect particularly in hyperactive uh, type of children uh, this has a good effect also it we vary the medications yes if it is hyperactivity you some we use some medicine and then if it is actually autism and we need to get some more stimulation then we add uh other type of drugs which are more pungent and all and it will cause more stimulation okay so such type of uh, treatments are also uh, being done in our uh, management okay and this is actually a paper that we have published uh, so it is a case series and uh, this is the treatment that we do actually and it is as we as i already know this is the medications that we do ashtachurna kalyanagakrita like that medicines vadashini that and uh, this is uh, what um, enema with uh, uh, what uh, vasti yogas as we already say then these are the manasamitra vadaga we use kuluchiyadi kashaya kalyanagakrita like that we do and this is the actually before and after results that we have attained so in uh, uh, speech uh, that means sociability then sensory physical uh, these all these factors we have got we have got considerable improvement uh, before and after actually this was the actually paper that uh, that um, i already told you that today we have published it as a book and uh, that book is actually available with me and this is published as a book now and i actually i'm very happy because uh, uh, he is my uh, i have been seeing him for the what uh, last uh, around uh, from around 4 years of age i have been seeing him and now in the, his 9 year of age i could uh, what make him uh, publish a book so i feel very happy and very i am very what also uh, thanks to his mother because she only did this all this wonderful work with the with our guidance work that we did uh, that day and actually from all this we can say that uh, uh, that the prevention of behavioral uh, problems so that should be behavioral problems in children so that first of all actually we should reduce their uh, uh, importance should be given in the ahara and vihara as we already told that means in the food and their uh, regimens okay so that uh, the uh, increase the use of such coloring agents their addictives and other carbonated drinks everything should be reduced so it is the main problem it is one of the important problems of behavioral problems in children okay so that we should consider even in uh, other normal children also other gastrointestinal problems uh, many children are having and obesity also the amount the number of children having obesity is increasing day by day okay so that also should be considered and also i already told give lots of local fruits and vegetables and reduce the screen time that is the most important thing you must play with your children so take time to play be a child with your children okay and and uh, and play with your children and spend time with your children so that should be advised to your, uh, your the the parents of your patients okay so reduce the screen time uh, considerably okay and spend quality time with your kids so quality time that is very important hug your kid kiss your kid okay and spend an emotional time with your kid so nowadays actually the parents are not doing that they don't have time after work they are coming and looking for into the social media they don't spend time with their kids so spend quality time with the kids so that is also very important because actually we are seeing that uh, and uh, as uh, we are uh, when we look into the uh, cases that are coming to the opd we are seeing that and uh, we feel that there is some uh, what a new species like uh, people are evolving like as sir said 
uh, they have made into a township and they are uh, what making the uh, these children stay in that township so actually that is a different world so a group of people having different uh, and lot uh, different behavior a species like having a different behavior is evolving so that is how people are uh, that the children are changing they don't want to interact with anyone they just want to sit and if they are given a mobile they will sit with them so that is uh, they are more focused in 2020 a new theory has evolved that autism means uh, more focused thinking so a group of uh, people or group of children having a more focused thinking they think only of themselves or only about themselves and they think of only of that things that they are interested so that is how autistic savants are there for example this aditya he he don't think of anyone else he only thinks of his writing okay so that they that type of uh, group of children are evolving so we need to uh, what uh, correct or we need to change that and we need to do something uh, to prevent or reduce the number of children and also we we have corrective measures we are doing the corrective measures and that is having very results if the if we get children early or early intervention then we will have good results okay so uh, <laughs> this is the uh, actually uh, we must include everyone in there and i also would like to show you uh, one of our another thank you lakshmi ji thank you very much thank you very much you have a explained ayurvedic concept as well excellent and okay, okay. getu nidan everything everything okay 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 Dr. sir Agnes, i would like okay 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 sir thank you thank you if if you have a, if you. okay we'll... yes please uh, after your uh, good self we will call kartik to explain because he is the parent there नमस्कार थैंक यू डॉक्टर पवन शर्मा जी और थैंक्स डॉक्टर लक्ष्मी एम के मैडम वेरी नाइसली यू प्रेजेंटेड योर टॉक व्हाट आई एम सीइंग अपरेंटली दैट यू आर वेरी वेरी मच हैप्पी टुडे एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट डे फॉर यू दैट अ चाइल्ड व्हिच वाज इन योर कॉन्टेक्ट एंड यू ट्रीटेड वेरी वेल uh with fullest of your knowledge and approach and cooperation now got the age of 9 years and on his own development you got a book released on today and that is aditen really it's it's a, it's a it's a pleasure to each and every such doctor such mentor such guide and such philosopher who whenever pay attention to his near and dear or whosoever becomes his or her near and dear it always gives a pleasure this is one aspect you enjoyed your afternoon uh, on releasing of that book named aditya and positively it is very clear and it it gives uh, an information that you dealt with him very, very well and the most uh, important factor was the cooperation of uh, his parents these all became yeah. a family members uh, um, emotionally and uh, they got uh, you utmost pleasure this is Thank what you. apparently apparently look by your presentation you are so happy so whenever the word comes that uh, aditan aditan itself is a great thing and mm -hmm. you also informed that he is fond of keep on writing this is one thing which made you so satisfied uh, to have a uh, say uh, and uh, approach like a book anyway the important factor is, is this that you touch the basic concept and basic etiological factors of such type of autism whether it may be hypothetical or it may be 100% that depends you started right from that time when the kid is not on the earth when the couple are planning to go for a baby they should choose the right time but you completely directed the public to go for indian system of medicine that is advait as far as, as the uh, progeny is concerned as far as the uh, say uh, going for the planning of a, a newborn so taking diet be behavioral good 
attitude is should be fine understanding should be there good quality time with the husband and wife and the needfulness for amongst them whatever the desire of wife and husband that makes a friendly approach and that itself gives a, and transfer this meaningfulness to the progeny so you test all these factor in 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 the form of the sahajam and jatakrat pidakrat kalajam and pahajam you know, all these five factors are there and it is not only for any um, um, means uh, um, handicap person uh, child who comes on earth it is always advisable to each and every targeted couple to observe all these things first and then have a planning for the progeny so it's a very important thing and then you talked about the special concept regarding the contraindications dietetics and treatment so all the sectors which you touched in a form of the uh, as per the prakriti as per the constitution always there are so many things which can be helpful in a terms of the diet treatment say massage therapy tishna nas is also of great value then takradhara then shuro lip uh, so many things are there and especially the last message which you conveyed that to couple both father and mother whosoever is there inside the house on um, um, in a rotation they must provide a uh, quality time with their such type of uh, say suffering child or a normal child both not only to go for picnic and to spend lot of money over their choices yeah. at the same time the time availability is also important and be friendly as you told that be friendly with your child this is very important so quality time cooperation and conversation these a few things which you underlined along with the good quality of uh, uh, multiple fruits avoid the colored edibles avoid the such type of load where uh, the person is not interested let him enjoy by their own activities and we should be friendly for that so great approach great uh, contribution uh, on our today's evening webinar so kind of you thank you and over to dr pawan sharma ji thank, thank you. you sir dr sharma ji hello हरि ओम हरि ओम एज ही वॉज थिंकिंग दैट आफ्टर योर प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल बी इन पोजिशन टू कॉल मिस्टर कार्तिक एज ही इज अ पेरेंट ऑफ अ फोर्टीन इयर ओल्ड आर्टिज चाइल्ड सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ डॉक्टर पवन शर्मा जी आई टेक दिस Um, opportunity to call uh, mr karte kartik to uh, please join our platform and uh, share his views at the same time i would like to uh, make a request that both of our guest speakers those their your details are there but uh, it will be better if you please uh, put the your uh, the phone numbers and email in chat box so that uh, as a reference it can be used as uh, and when our um any of the uh, interested person would like to take a direct question to you so uh, my request is that uh, uh, professor kartian sir and uh, dr uh, uh, lakshmi mk please uh, put your phone number and your uh, ID, uh, email id details so it will in the chat box so it will be beneficial to the our um, webinar platform also so mr kartik uh, would you please uh, join us to a uh, take uh, some important uh, experiences which you personally shared as a, as a having a family member suffering from autism oh uh, i am i am sir i am talking to, in, on behalf of kartik he just left on okay our, okay sir thank you sir thank you okay please he should please. join yeah okay yeah yeah
मैं क्षमा चाहता हूं वो डॉक्टर कमलेश कुमार शर्मा सर आ गए थे आज यहाँ है वो भी पटना में है आई आई मेड द प्रोसेस ऑन कीप ऑन गोइंग I I requested for uh, for Mr. Karthik to to share his experiences. So, sir told that he will as long he will be joining. Mr. Karthik is joining. Uh, Professor Karthik and sir uh, would like to say something. Right, right, sir. Sir, please, sir. Uh, nothing much. Uh, like uh, I just wanted to share some of my views with uh, Dr. Lakshmi. Like uh, when she. quoted like uh, this is a exclusive community or a isolated township uh, it is not uh, entirely so it is a township with a therapeutic uh, facilities inside and uh, we uh, go for a different vocational thing uh, because like uh, we want to incorporate the panjapudas into the treatment of these uh, children and then when they get their hands on to the soil and then uh, plant uh, things and then do we much better and uh, as i told you earlier i have a slightly different view on inclusion because uh, talking about my uh, experience in chennai i find many children included possibly for the sake of inclusion and after a year they are excluded from the normal school society and uh, there are many parents uh, who just want their children to be in the normal school for the sake of normal school so that doesn't help i tell them like the child should be independent in its ideals and the behavior pattern and cognitive expression so we aim at dialogue generation and many of our children do a dialogue and it is not a monologue we have carnatic therapy as a treatment methodology uh, weekly 2 to 3 days they are exposed to a carnatic musician so the tonal expression is there in autism and the children can uh, sing with a compliment so like mirdangam and uh, uh gadam and flute also and so these are all uh, things that we want to tell the world that these are all capable of uh, these children are capable of doing if we are able to correct the hardware and i agree with you on uh, the kind of therapies uh, the takradaras and others i mean we have uh, kind of uh, adopted and lateralized uh, our approach uh, in a way that uh, we do a protocol and the protocol is uh, usually very protective that's why we don't deviate mostly from the protocol now we are trying to devise uh, domiciliary treatment patterns because uh, we are not able to take all the children into the uh, inpatient program so we have to man- uh, manage them on a domiciliary uh, that is also we are taking up and once we develop such exclusive communities the number will become sizable so uh, if you look at uh, uh, i am not uh, see uh, i want people to understand it in the right way uh, the hiv community and the gay community they are a exclusive community and then once they have uh, voting power the government looks at uh, them their plights and all that so autism also has to go into a exclusive productive community which the other society members look at and then uh, appreciate that's what i want to give it as a clarification yeah sure thank you sir thank you very much uh, very naturally uh, it's right it's our pleasure that you commented upon uh, dr um, lakshmi's address uh, it's quite good i was very much interested to have a feedback also um, before closing so it's good uh, as you told that you have got a little uh, difference uh, over... you are unmuted i mean you are muted in in feeling or may not have 
but it is the it is the almighty himself he does whether we know we we, we may be a party a part of it or not so uh, there are so many reservations with the almighty so uh, let us let us keep that sector uh, uh, on their discussion but as far as the, our community is told you told that uh, this uh, hiv community and gay community is there i think uh, as far as the transgenders are concerned they have been uh, given uh, the voting right and taken as a third gender that to mention in our um, all uh, legal and documentative parts so in that way uh, things are changing um, uh, maybe in west but in india also so a day may come when all these things will be more closer and the society will accept that uh, our our responsibilities are much more regarding those persons who are, who who are divyangana and are having some need from the society side so thank you thank you sir thank you so much yeah bye yeah. uh now i would like to uh, say if the our um, kartike ji is available uh, he would like to share something or uh, uh, dr pawan sharma ji please guide us that uh, uh, where should we approach further we can conclude sir okay okay so our two ex speakers they have presented very well and they made uh, our today's webinar platform most centric so with the presentation we uh, conclude the phase of uh, guest speakers presentation and now uh, those who are our in our uh, platform first of all i would like to take the opportunity to call professor ramdas ji as he joined our very after a very long gap so professor ramdas ji if you are here now yes, sir, we take care sir i am with dr kamlesh sir okay no problem no Any problem take care up to answer okay okay this platform is yours and dr kamlesh ji if he, he if he would like to uh, be uh, to like to share your screen uh, we can have a glimpse of him so <laughs> ramdas ji Uh, yes sir yes sir yes please you please just give some uh, as you um, are joining after a long gap i think yes, maybe sir. It, sure, sir. Uh, sure please sir. you sure, sir. say something to see dr lakshmi there in this platform uh, yeah. i used to oh ramdas oh ah, ramdas sir ha ah, oh, hi sir <laughs> i used to visit her <laughs> hospital <laughs> used to see the children there सर थोड़ा वॉइस थोड़ा वॉइस थोड़ा वॉइस बढ़ाइए थोड़ा आवाज यस सर यस सर यस सर कैन यू हियर मी नाउ कैन यू हियर मी सर यस यस प्लीज प्लीज कंटिन्यू एक्चुअली आई यूज्ड टू विजिट हर हॉस्पिटल देयर इन पेट्रोवेंड्रम शी यूज्ड टू टेक मी व्हेन शी गोस फॉर द विजिट्स आई हैव सीन द एक्सपीरियंसेस ओवर देयर एंड आई हैव सीन द चिल्ड्रन हु सफर ओवर देयर अ लॉट एंड व्हेन आई वाज इन मद्रास एक्चुअली कार्तियन सर इज देयर मद्रास देयर इज अ हाफ uh um, the parents drop the children in a room over there in a club over there there this autism children will be there so we can visit them we can spend a one day with them we'll carry some sweet and etc and we will keep some friends who, who sing songs and etc so when we used to visit such places what i noticed is when we go there and distribute sweet on this friends who sing songs they dances the children join with us and special energy can be seen in them every sunday i used to visit such places at least uh, breakfast or the lunch i used to take with them so they need actually what kartian sir is doing is correct only they, they need actually uh, psychological support a lot that is what is actually the children needed more lakshmi madam is speaking about treatment of course treatment is compulsory but moral support is very much needed very much needed now aditya's book itself here the very the heading of the textbook it is self is autism is not a criminal offense you just imagine it is a fate that i am suffering it is not a criminal offense to isolate me from others so that pain in the child is expressed in the heading of that book so the child knows that he is suffering from that one that is why he is being isolated from other children he is not able to go to the regular school and etc there may be thousands of thoughts in that book i don't know i did not read it but yeah. certainly such feelings will be there in that book see such children if moral support if they are getting like now they have given they publish the book certainly he will feel proud of it no doubt in that one because he is being respected on a stage such works actually has to be done 
actually has to be done by everybody everyone every human being every club if they can keep such things and even the parents if they take the children to such places monthly twice or thrice let it be a temple with the bhajans or let it be a, a dance session there you allow the children to dance such a freedom if it is given certainly it will be a great service that which we are doing for such children no doubt in that one that is what is very very important that thing that i feel because i have done i uh, four years i was there in madras i used to visit every sunday to such places and i used to meet them i used to spend one hour with them with them you know they they joy they feel it such a joy so such things we can do certainly we can do many times i visited lakshmi madam's hospital uh, after that some break has happened uh, regular visit to trandram was been blocked actually otherwise i am happy to do such things as such services and last thought is everyone told that it is because of the food that which the parents consuming is one of the reason for educate somebody, how to educate the people for that that is also taken by somebody somebody is switched on it okay no problem so if if such classes can even i told that today also madan sangavelu sir was there even the bms college children can be taken to the villages can be given such classes awareness classes now only the prasudhi tandra or the kalmar prathi department the pg is there they are going even it has to be removed even bms volunteers how to go to the villages and to the people please don't take such food items don't leave like that such classes if they are making the percentage of autism can be reduced so the central government or ncim has to take special interest to compulsory that students should go to the village a bms student should attend at least 50 hours, 60 hours per year or at least 30 hours per year village to educate the people should get a certificate from panchayat that he is working over there such a strong rules if they keep certainly this will work out simply volunteership if you say we will not get but the students when they work certainly it will be giving a good result if such per memorandums can be given by the kaumari prathi department or such organization like kartikeyan sir and etc if ncm is ncim is taking interest certainly you can find out the result no. of that i am sure about it but it should be coming as a rule when rajiv gandhi came in when i was in my graduation rajiv gandhi came and he put an education policy that if you have to get a graduation certificate at least you should make an illiterate to a literate that means he should start writing then only you will be given i joined for nss i have made so many people write alphabets and i brought certificate from the panchayat i gave it is in 1883 85 so if such things are being introduced by the educational policies along with their education their quality social service certainly it will be a great thing it is not simply a volunteer service it should be a certified certified strict rule has to be brought this is my suggestion uh, i told in research also the people should start research from their villages not from the published papers let them go near by their villages what are the problems the people face over there if the institution and the hospital go with the is related to that one that will be applied it itself so our research will go to the society such a way autism this specially all these things wherever the children suffer the parents suffer wherever the awareness class is required certainly there should be a rule in ncim syllabus that the child should go to the society at least 20 hours to 30 hours he should get the certificate from primary health center and panchayat or the people over there such a rule has to be laid down this is my humble request to this uh, great scholars here if they take care i am i am pressurizing i am going i am working in the society now also to be very frank such things has to be done by pavan kumar sir and etc it will be a great service to the society namaste sir thank you very much and i am happy to join because uh, i like all these things that which we are doing helping the suffering people uh, we must we must thank, thank you, you thank you thank you very much thank sir. you professor
Ramdas ji, thank you so much. We are we are delighted to have your um, uh, input and uh, the proper direction. Uh, really, it's a, it's a pleasure that you have visited uh, Madras uh, and uh, seen by your own eyes the sufferers and also <laughs> their enjoyment <laughs> on, <laughs> on occasion of their distribution of sweets or they have, they 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 are so happy and they start dancing they start singing as if they know that in the society somebody is there to come to visit them so this is not the given oh, oh, oh. oh. they are very good artists and oh, the level i i just suggested that uh, uh, ncism or oh, any um, so related authority or board uh, may direct the students to visit or the yeah. full blooded doctors to visit what i what i got in in, in, in my mind that uh, 1975 the internship itself is very important so when the student uh, after completing the final year goes to the different department 446 in, in the department of bal rog kumarvat if uh, persons like dr lakshmi are there they can manage uh, 19750 to carry them to that uh, asylum 1, or to that uh, center where such students are it, it is it is not a it is of you see when we were studying we were scared that um, we may pass out or even a mbs doctor a mbs student may pass out on the full examination but uh, but uh, rare to see the burn case or the see a downing case but in hyderabad they used to come the downing case so we were there in, in the full quantum but difficult to have a burn case so now it is becoming uh, increasing in number in or autistic persons uh, child may there so those which are the centers at least uh, 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 that area i with the colleges um, the students when they complete their uh, rotatory internship they may be asked under the say uh, umbrella of kumarvat department to visit and to pay uh, six hours at least in many the seven hours in the one week rotation so it will be uh, much more informative to, to those students to visit um, and to have experience by their own and if at all any person in their family or in nearby family may be suffering from that they not only the refer to such centers but also be helpful to manage them in a in a very many uh, uh, cordial manner and friendly manner to provide and to provoke to to start to encourage them to speak to, to like a speech trip in all that so very very kind um, uh, suggestions are your and i think it will take a shape in coming days thank you so much professor uh, ramdas ji now i would like to have uh, our uh, one new face is there dr shubha is there dr shubha is uh, if you are there you please come and uh, say some either you have got some query or you have got some suggestion uh, you are uh, you are most welcome you please join our platform and uh, enlighten us with your views namaskar Dr. Shubha is there. Uh, as long as Dr. Shubha is joining us, I would like to go for uh, with the Rajan Patankar ji. He is uh, with us, and uh, he is a senior, very senior person dealing with uh, so many types of uh, uh, say sukshma aushadi. So he may be having some experience with such type of uh, child and uh, their family and society. So we would like to have some experiences from. वैद्य राजन पटंकर जी सर नमस्कार वैद्य पटंकर जी इफ यू आर हियर हेलो वैद्य पटंकर जी राजन पटंकर जी नमस्कार मीन वेल आई कैन हैव सम फीडबैक फ्रॉम डॉक्टर लक्ष्मी हर सेल्फ बिकॉज शी हेज प्रेजेंटेड हर all is speech very well and meanwhile dr professor ramdas ji's inputs are also available uh, along with our professor kartikeyan ji so would she you like to uh, share something as a feedback because we are heading towards uh, eight and uh, uh, a few speakers and uh, are also there in our discussion uh, madam uh, lakshmi sir uh, yeah. actually uh... 
Suras Kartigayans are uh, told uh, uh, that that is not a what uh, township with the autistic children alone. And as Sir yeah. told, uh, we are also finding some difficulties in uh, managing uh, these children at home uh, or doing treatment for every children in the hospital. Uh, so we are also finding difficulties. But since uh, we ha- we are having a what, specialty center and the uh, government is providing us funds for uh, providing medicines and all uh, from the local self-government, we are getting funds. Uh, so that is why we are able to provide uh, treatment uh, in a single sitting, uh, actually around uh, uh, 40 patients, 40 to 50 uh, children with development disorders are getting treatment along with all the therapies in our hospital. So uh, if we are not getting that fund and all, we, are, we won't be able to do like that. So as sir told, uh, that is actually the problem. Parents are finding it difficult. So they have to look after their siblings and all, uh, and also look after these development disorder children, go to work. Uh, they have to go to work. Any one of the parents should go to work. So such things are there. So in that day, uh, the township, the the idea of the town, township is actually very good. Uh, but uh, um, I am, what I told was, uh, actually, if we get children uh, very early in, at an younger age, then uh, we can do the treatments uh, and there will be much more uh, results. So that they they could they could have an inclusive education along with the uh, the normal children. So that is what I want to uh, suggest because I think that there should be the uh, an integrative approach from the basis. Uh, that is whenever after delivery, when when we will look into the newborns, that you find that there is a development delay, or by one year, if you see that a child has some behavioral problem then there itself, the child should be referred to an uh, Ayush system or the, there itself, the child should be referred to an integrative system so that we can do everything together within that one year. Then only we get that. Then we can actually uh, what we uh, actually change the disability adjusted life years. We can uh, reduce the disability adjusted life years. So, and, and we can uh, get these children into the front line of the society. Okay, along with the normal children. So that is what we have to do. And I would, uh, if uh, if I can share, I could actually just share a, a one of my patients. Uh, you can go for the um, screen sharing. Yeah. This is also one of our patients. And... Uh, and uh, she is actually autistic, and uh, she has now. Uh, she is very interested in uh, singing, and right. uh, so she is actually now go uh, go for singing in stages. Uh, but she needs the support of her mother. She is also autistic, right. and sh- now she is around sixteen years old. So this way, actually, her problem was we cannot make him make her normal, but her clarity of speech was very less. And uh, she had, she was actually very afraid of coming into the uh, stages and all. So with our support and we give medicines for the cl- improving the clarity of the speech and everything. Uh, and that is how actually uh, what uh, she reached this stage. And now she's a, actually a very famous uh, singer in the Mala- singing Malayalam songs and all. Okay, she's Ananya, uh, and uh, she's she was also she's also our patient and, and all, having yeah yeah Ananya Bijesh. So just share, that is all. Uh, so this type of developments are there. We are having, uh, what? We are making our children uh, with autism actually, what? More uh, beneficial or actually the mother is actually very happy now because uh, she they have become more what, famous now. Only, only with Ananya. So Ananya have made them more famous. <laughs> so that is, <laughs> so they are very happy now. Uh, they they have another uh, one uh, what boy, uh, but they are actually more proud of Ananya now. So sh- such type of changes we can make to the children and their parents. So let if if uh, if children come to us even before that by around one year we can make many what much more change. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Lakshmiji. Uh, you um, also add on some uh, inputs uh, experienced by you. A very small query comes in my mind. 
that as you are very close and you had been very close with such type of children have you got any um, situation uh, when you have to uh, ask them some harshly or scolded them or they made some mischievous nuisance or so dividingly right from one year to five year and then five year to 10 year like that because you was a very close uh, cooperation with aditya and now with ananya so you might have experience plus minus sweet and sour experiences uh, could you like to tell something that uh, any time they become some uh, non cooperative because of not fulfilling their um, uh, uh, heartfelt desire could you could you like to say something on my this small query <laughs> oh that is definitely will be there sir we have to what <laughs> actually that di dhairya atma di vijnanam uh, we say in ayurveda no for mano doshas and also uh, different methods we have to look into like uh, we say tradanam what uh, prinanam uh, like different methods are being explained that means sometimes you have to please them sometimes you have to strictly tell them don't do Uh, so that is actually part of the behavioral modifications so all that things we need to do uh, that is part of the and, behavior and, 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 and you as you were putting forward the the fairer part of the whole experience so i i uh, got a point that that being is small kids they might be having some mischievous activities where you have to yeah, say definitely. stop it stop it or yeah, do something thank you definitely thank you. in opd and all actually uh, we we need to be strict Uh, in a, in some sense so that they will sit in the they need to sit in the chair for some time so that we can we have to ask their uh, problems so or or they, or they can be involved with some of the uh, tidbits like uh, uh, inflating the balloons or anything which you can uh, which yeah. they can yeah, you you yeah, go we, for it we usually yeah. we usually have uh, uh, what uh, toys and uh, toys, what, yeah. activities in the uh, yeah uh, like uh, about pegboard and everything in the and right. uh, beads and everything in the opd uh, table right. so that so they will they can, do they can do it uh, yeah they will do uh, it what, and sit what, in the opd what, what, what is their inter inter partner relationship how they behave in between their own uh, group uh, um, <laughs> patient whenever they are admitted in the hospital after mm. say one or two one or two weeks so say after some 10 days they get mm. to know each other and they behave in a uh, what in their own way they show the friendship <laughs> in their different way thank sometimes you. yeah yeah that is yeah. okay thank you thank you so kind of so thank you dr lakshmi ji uh, okay. i again uh, would like to make a request to professor kartken sir if you please uh, give some uh, closing remarks Uh, to add on your speech uh, it will be uh, very uh, good for us yes sir oh, uh, the the main obstacle to dr lakshmi's uh, desire to have children before uh, one year for treatment is the denial by the patients there is a study in cmc velo where the gestation period between the diagnosis to a meaningful therapy is 3 to 5 years and uh, the gestation period from the identification of the first symptom that the child is deviant from normal to going to a professional and then getting diagnosed again is about 3 to 5 years and uh, i i do not know what is the experience uh, the other professionals feel and uh, they just shop around uh, to find one person saying it is mild and it will go away and uh, they want it to go away overnight and uh, it's okay like uh, see uh, we see different platforms 1 to 5 years they shop around 5 to 10 years they try to somehow donate and then put their child into a normal school and uh, they shop around from one school to another and then one ot to another one speech to another but they do lot of babysitting and then nothing meaningful 10 to 15 years they get a scare that the child is going out of hand 15 to 20 years nothing could be done it is the majority of the children and uh, uh, i uh, i do feel uh, when i uh, 
talk with other people this happens and then uh, in us it is a platform one to three years somebody takes care three to six years somebody passed it on to another and then at 21 years it is only a psychiatric medicine and then uh, vegetable and uh, this has to change yes of course if you uh, catch them by one year uh, the genetic expression could be modified the genes are uh, assembling wrong proteins we can uh, make uh, the cat on the wall jump to the other side which is the normal side and which we have experienced and which Dr. Lakshmi also people like her could have experienced but this is being denied by the parents and why is it denied by the parents is they see majority of children who do not get better and they have to see majority of children who get better and that is the essence and that is where the media and other things should play a part and we are talking in length about everything we have only 11 participants and there should be thousand participants okay viewed around the world and then the message should be carried so then only it will become meaningful and uh, i wanted to create a touch and feel community where these kind of parents who deny come here and see the other children play around and become let's see then only they will believe otherwise they will only think we are doing a sales talk and uh, ultimately when they realize it is too late and it is uh, no point of return and then they get stuck this is the reality of the society in 80 percent of people there are scattered examples of uh, swimmers singers savant skills and all that that again they don't even realize that they are on stage and people are clapping for them. And that is the reality. And we clap for them and they don't realize that they are clapping for them. Yeah. But their parents are satisfied. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so kind of you. Uh, you you ri really uh, ri rightly pointed out the shortcomings uh, for uh, uh, category categorically the age factors is involved they can start sharing something within themselves or they can take away or snatching something that depends uh, individual's uh, attitude so uh, your additional uh, suggestions uh, are very valuable so kind of uh, thank you sir uh, there is a question in chat box from dr uh, rajin patankar ji i think it is pertaining to dr lakshmi ji that uh, will gograt as a nurse be useful uh, for such cases if they cooperate. So for that, I would like to uh, invite Dr. Vaidya Rajan Patankarji and he would like to wish that, put the question directly to any one of you whosoever, whosoever would like to answer. So I invite Vaidya Rajan Patankarji, if you please uh, available to our platform, please um, uh, come and uh, put your query along with your suggestions. Thank you. And uh Namaste. Namaste. Lakshmi had explained it very nicely. But mm. uh, in my opinion, because I had not uh, seen so many cases, but in a few cases, <laughs> Gogruta Nasya or Vachatil Nasya will definitely help. And in my opinion, nowadays, the joint family is not there. So the sanskar, which is to be there from right from the childhood, is not there. So that is also one of the reason why these problems are increasing day by day. Because the grandparents, which are used to handle their uh, grandsons properly or by teaching them so many things, is uh, because due to nuclear families, that is not there. And ag again, another thing, while talking with children, you have to talk in a proper language or in a proper manner. Because what we say in uh, Hindi, unke saath agar laad pyar se jada baat ki jaye, to wo bhi ek, uh, that can be one of the major problem. So that's my opinion. So you, are, you have seen more patients than me. So it will definitely help. Uh, only my suggestions. So thank you, Agnyutri ji. And uh, thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Rajan Patankar ji, you have said a lot of things, but this is 
तब है जहां हम अपने सभी स्वस्थ जो बच्चा पैदे हुए पैदा हुए हैं उन पर भी उतने ही लागू होगी लेकिन जो बच्चा पैदाइशी ही किसी भी कारण से दिव्यांग है या उसका नर्वस डेवलपमेंट नहीं है या वो कंजेनाइटल डिजीज लाइक ऑटिज्म से सफर कर रहा है तो उसके संग तो थोड़ा सा कॉपरेटिव या पैलेटेबल रहना ही जरूरी है जो अपना बेसिक फॉर्मूला है कि लालेत पंच वर्षाणी तो पांच साल तक तो कोई भी उसको मिसयूज अब्यूज ताड़ना नहीं देते दस वर्षाणी दर्शाणी तो वो जो रूलिंग है वो एवरी हेल्थी चाइल्ड एवरी मैंने यूनाइटेड फैमिली इसमें अपनी फैमिली में अच्छा था कम्बाइंड फैमिली में न्यूक्लियर फैमिली में यही होता है अगर पति पत्नी के बीच में कोई बात है तो बच्चा सफर करेगा या बच्चे ने कोई गलती कर दी तो एक बार एक बार माँ डांटेगी एक बार पापा डांटेंगे तो इससे कि उस पर एक एक गुत्थी एक ग्रंथी बनती चली जाती है मानसिक रूप से जो कि या तो वो या तो वो करेक्शन कर लेगा अन्यथा वो रिएक्टिव हो जाएगा कि अब की बार हम और बड़ी करेंगे देखते वो क्या करते हैं तो दोनों चीजें इसमें नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव दोनों रहता है अक्सर ऐसा कभी कब टूट गया या कभी गिर पड़ा है चोट लग गई तो कस के डांट दिया एक तो बेचारे को चोट लग गई एक तो बेचारा खुद सफर गया और उसको डांट और दिया बजाय इसको उसको थोड़ा सा पोलाइटली समझ आ रही कोई बात नहीं अभी हो जाएगी दवाई लगा दी ठीक हो जाए कोई बात नहीं ऐसे धीरे से चला करो देख के चला करो कितना तक चल जाएगा तो दोनों ही चीज दोनों ही सेक्टर है इट डिपेंड वेन वेन अ पर्सन इज ऑटोमेटिकली सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम ऑफ द एलिमेंट तो उसके संग तो सिंपैथी पैसे बन जाती है तो आपने अच्छे विचार रखे और दोनों चीजें रही बात गोघ्रत की जैसा मैडम लक्ष्मी जी कह रही थी क्योंकि उसको हमें नर्वस सिस्टम पर ब्रेन पर स्टूमुलेट करना है तो इसलिए थोड़ा सा गोघत तो बहुत माइल्ड हो जाएगा तो तीक्ष्ण औषधि से अगर सिद्ध होगा या अणु तेल होगा या अपना शरीर बचा, बचा, बचा भी यूज कर बचा बचा जी बचा तेल होगा हम लोग वाराणादी क्षीर खुद भी यूज करते हैं अच्छा वाराणादी क्षीर गेट वे ऑफ ब्रेन तो नेजल पैसेज को इसीलिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया धन्यवाद बहुत ही कीमती आपने विचार रखे और मैडम हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म से जुड़ी हुई थी तो उनका हमें उसके उस पर हमें प्रतिक्रिया भी मिल गई yes, आप yes. दोनों लोगों का ही बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद राजन पटंकर जी का और मैडम लक्ष्मी जी का और प्रोफेसर कार्तिकेन जी का अभी हम अब इस समय हमारे पास आठ अठारह हो रहा है हम चाहेंगे कि पांच सात मिनट में हमारे बहुत ही वरिष्ठ और आदरणीय डॉक्टर जगदीश डोमा जी जो तेलंगाना से हैं हमारे उनसे चाहेंगे वो उस विषय पर अपने विचार रखें और अगर कोई शंका है कोई उनका सजेशन है तो रखें हमारे दोनों ही गेस्ट स्पीकर्स हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं तो दोनों प्रकार का लाभ हमारे पूरे वेबिनार के प्लेटफॉर्म को होगा तो अग्निहोत्री जी एक ही मिनट एक ही मिनट पता ही हाँ आपने जो बात कही कि न्यूक्लियर फैमिली में भी एक जो माँ ज्यादा लाड़ प्यार करती है और पिताजी डांटते हैं तो उसका भी इफेक्ट जो है वो बच्चे के ब्रेन के ऊपर होता है वो कुछ भी गलती करने के बाद अगर माँ प्यार करती है तो उसको जाके पहले बताता है तो हाँ एक जो इकट्ठा ये चाहिए वो बहुत कम बार दिखने को मिलता है क्योंकि तो पिताजी सिर्फ डांटते ही रहते हैं और माँ सिर्फ लाड़ प्यार से ही बात करती है तो उसमें भी कुछ इंडिकेशन होना और उस सर उससे भी महत्वपूर्ण बात यह है कि जो आज के माता और पिता हैं उनको अपने माता पिता से क्या एक्सपीरियंस हुआ है उसका रिफ्लेक्शन वो अपने को जन्म देते दे भी बार अगर हमको बहुत प्यार से माता जी का प्यार मिला या पिता जी का प्यार मिला या अनुशासन मिला है तो वो ऑटोमेटिकली फॉरवर्ड होगा तो ये भी उतना ही विचारणीय है अगर हम हम अगर हम अपने जमाने में हर तरीके से डांट फटकार पाते रहे हैं तो निश्चित रूप से वो हम उतने ही रिएक्शनरी बच्चे हो जाएंगे तो दो दोनों तीन फैक्टर्स है सभी सभी चीज इम्पोर्टेंट है धन्यवाद धन्यवाद जी नमस्कार मैं डॉक्टर आदरणीय डॉक्टर डोमा जी को इनवाइट कर रहा हूँ आप आइए और अपने विचारों से हम सबको लाभान्वित कराइए डॉक्टर जगदीश डोमा जी रेस्पेक्टेड सर प्लीज आइए यू आर यू आर वेलकम इन अवर प्लेटफॉर्म हरिओम 
uh, i would like to have to hear some suggestions some thought and some uh, if at all the query is there uh, from dr uh, respected dr jagdish shudoma ji please do come and uh, uh, guide us नमस्कार डॉक्टर डोमा जी आप हमारी बात आवाज सुन पा रहे हैं डॉक्टर शुभा इज देयर स्टिल हिज नेम इज देयर इन अवर प्लेटफॉर्म डॉक्टर शुभा इफ शी इज देयर शी मे ऑल्सो कम विद हर व्यूज professor bharat ji i think he is he is just uh, joined professor bharat sir namaskar 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 amre great uh, great please aiye have you joined right from the beginning no no not right from the beginning uh, around 7 i joined uh, okay, i was on okay. youtube because it was i was not admitted actually so i right. joined on youtube no so, problem yeah. if you have gone through the today's contents you please come uh, with your suggestions and query if at all is there please uh, do uh, join uh, yeah uh, thank you yeah, it was uh, really lovely to hear madam lakshmi dr kartikeyan sir and dr ramda sir and uh, here i have uh, whatever uh, thing i have heard actually uh, i can comment only on that things it was really a uh, nice thing to hear that autism is such a big problem and uh, uh, it requires a multi modal management which i think and she did rightly she, uh, that she has uh, done all those things which are enumerated in the samhitas and based on those principles she did the uh, treatment and ultimately uh, we have seen what is the result on that another thing would be ki dr ramda sir he commented that uh, the ncism should introduce the village uh, uh, visits of the bms students so i am happy to share that it has been already introduced in the new curriculum because we are uh, running the induction program from 13th we are running the induction program it is going yes, on sir. and it is already there in the curriculum and we are uh, we will be taking those students to the villages and we need to adopt the villages even i can uh, go ahead and i can give one more suggestion that uh, it is uh, it will be very really good that if each student is uh, compelled to have a data of at least 10 families in the entire course of five and a half year so that he can take care of the family right from the first year and in the first year whenever we are teaching the padartha vigyana samhita adhyana all those things means where he is and uh, for that matter the anatomy part of the modern anatomy modern physiology as well as ayurvedic physiology ayurvedic anatomy is not of much importance but ayurvedic physiology is of much importance so these all uh, all those things they are definitely they are the good steps which are taken by the ncsm and really it is an appreciable step and you rightly said that he clinically early clear that is uh, that module is known as ece that is early clinical exposure so that is the early clinical exposure which i started even it was not uh, a mandate for us i started that way back in uh, 2017 18 when i uh, uh, when i was teaching the padarth vigyan so uh, people they usually uh, the students uh, they realize that this padarth vigyan the bhut and the atma and the all those things they are all uh, such type of the things and as uh, madam lakshmi has the rightly pointed out that is uh, unmad there are the types and there are the variants which are mentioned in the uh, text of the charaka samhita and of course if you see in case of the unmada if you see the treatment the treatment part as rightly pointed out by dr rajendra sir ki uh, the grit becomes a uh, um, uh, drug of choice because all the formulations which are given in the unmada prakaran they essentially have grit as one of the important uh, ingredient and uh, as you know the action of the drug can be enhanced by lipophilic action so that that also is one of the issue which i think that needs to be addressed of course it is a, a very good approach which you have already uh, done and i really appreciate the way it was done and i would like to congratulate you madam for your wonderful book which you are coming you see because you uh, because of persons like you we can develop confidence in ayurveda and it will boost Uh, it will boost some energy in the new learners who otherwise are going to practice the modern system of medicine 
So I really congratulate and uh, I'm joining this platform from past three, four days. I'm joining on YouTube only. I'm not able to join on the Zoom. That was uh, maybe due to some technical reasons it were, but really I appreciate uh, uh, Pavanji who met me in uh, Sanyojanam and uh, I really uh, joined him and uh, I'm really happy, really happy. So, so this was, uh, was from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great contribution. Uh, you were also well remembered on, on day for yesterday uh, on yeah. the day of uh, quantum, quantum theory. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, quantum. You, you were remembered by name, but uh, yeah. some, some, uh, it was our hard luck that you could not join. But today, yeah. as you told that uh, uh, really the work, the student will listen, Padarth Gyan and all that. Yeah. And that will really resist time. When he comes from plus two uh, and uh, especially uh, uh, PCB group, uh, yeah. it is a, it is a new era. It is a, it's a new field regarding the philosophy of Ayurveda and all that. So in that yeah. way, if some work like NSS uh, student uh, do, uh, yes. it will also be a pleasure, a picnic hunt also, and along with them some groupism to go for north, east, west, south. We used to collect in the same manner. Uh, we divide the students uh, for four directions and allotting uh, 10 homes or uh, say 15 homes and then yeah. it will become a uh, data collection by the end yeah. of the uh, uh, final year. So it's very good. And as far as you told that uh, ECE is very important. So yeah. you, you, you have not given any chance for to NSCIM so that is, you have, uh, that is already there in calculum and they are yeah. also interested because they are all uh, our so they know that how and where we can mold our students in a right manner so that they should also feel themselves att attached, uh, associated with the society. Otherwise, they are coming from their house and they are living in uh, separate rooms or in hostel. So family feeling stops whenever we spend our five years of age. So in that way, it is very important when they go to the fam uh, society uh, or taluka or panchayat level, uh, they, they develop some such type of um, because they introduce themselves that I am here to collect such type of information uh, for the betterment of the any hidden ailment running with the, any of the family member in that sector. So it is a great practice and uh, of course we, we will be having a sales in the coming years. So thank you so much. Thank you. We are, we are pleased that you are uh, with us today. Thanks for your suggestion. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So I would again like to, Namaskar, thank you. Uh, I would again like to request uh, Dr. Uh, Doma ji, if you please um, uh, available here and hearing uh, my sound, you please come with your suggestions, your queries, or your Arshir Vachan uh, for today's webinar, along with some uh, some um, say remedies for such persons suffering, uh, uh, children suffering from autism. Uh, Namaskar, Dr. Doma ji. Hello, sir, are you there? नमस्कार में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है अच्छा हां वो जुड़ नहीं पा रहे मिला यहां हां चलिए तो बिफोर आई गो बैक टू पवन जी एंड एज पवन जी टोल्ड दैट यू यू जस्ट होल्ड द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ टुडे वेना एज ही इज वेरी मच बिजी विद द मीटिंग विद डॉक्टर कमलेश शर्मा जी एंड ऑल दैट सो uh, I am very, very grateful to all the uh, guest speakers of today who touched the very sincere, very important uh, subject of autism and how it can be manageable, how it can be given some support from the doctor side, from the society side, from the government side, from the NGO side, and all the views are uh, now available in our platform, in our uh, uh, say YouTube also, where we were given some information from both the very respected and learned speakers that uh, how it can be preventive before its the onset, uh, right from the um, uh, intrauterine life to uh, having any ailment in the early um, kids to the management uh, given with the help of the diet, right uh, exercise, right uh, ahar and the friendship in the terms of those, along with some dietary support, some supportive toys, and uh, friendly dealing, singing, 
dancing, uh, enjoying uh, groupism, pleasure, sharing, uh, making a uh, say uh, more and more prone towards the games along with some obediency step by step. So uh, it may be a group of remedies uh, for such persons and uh, couple, the parents will also like to uh, come forward with such type of remedies to deal with their uh, suffering kids. And it is not a crime, it's not an off offense. It is uh, unfortunately a situation um, given by God. Uh, of course, maybe uh, because the human mistakes uh, is one part is there. So with these uh, uh, submission and suggestion, I, I would like to put forward my concluding remarks in a form of the persons, those who join today. So we celebrated today 394th webinar uh, on the topic of autism, Pride Day, Care for the Autism. And we were uh, having the platform dignitaries uh, like Dr. Jagdish Domaji, uh, Dr. D. Anandiji, Dr. Nimbi ji, Dr. Subha ji, Dr. Karthik, uh, Mr. Karthik ji, and uh, uh, Dr. Virendra Kori ji, and Professor Ramdas ji, along with our uh, Professor Dr. Vaid Rajan Patankar ji, and along with our two great speakers like, like uh, Dr. Professor K. Karthik ji, and Dr. Lakshmi uh, M. K. ji. And uh, as I told earlier, that uh, we underlined uh, the valuable suggestions, valuable description put forward by them. Uh, Dr. Karthikenji told about the DOST, the UCOP 2021, and also the Zada Niketanam. In this way, we can manage or we can become an asset to the society and the, for the families, those who are having uh, such uh, cases suffering from autism. And our social support will make a building to their mental support. So this is what uh, the exact, uh, say, commission of our uh, Kartikeyan sir, along with Dr. Lakshmi Ji, as she uh, pointed out, so many possibilities in a form of the etiologies, right from the uh, intrauterine life or before planning to go for baby, uh, the, the something in terms of Nidan, as she put forward, along with the, maybe in a form of hypothesis, but it's still, of great value if we underline these things in a form of Sahaj, Jataj, Pilakrat, Kalaj, and Prabhavaj. Uh, and also she put forward more and more emphasis about the GIT management. As she told that the get victory is to be managed for that. She also talked about even the uh, uh, anima along with some sort of uh, nest approach. So these things were very important when uh, right from that age, when a uh, child becomes some sensitive, uh, means gaining age of say four years or so, so that he can be uh, able to cooperate for all these activities along like uh, Chakradhara or Shurodhara or Nasya or even the tune profession, that depends. But at the same time, the instructions are much more for the families uh, like father and mother. If the grandparents are there, then it is very uh, lucky situation that they should provide the quality time, cooperation, friendly understanding, uh, try, try to make the needful as well as the kids are putting forward. And in that case, Dr. Lakshmi Ji is lucky enough, fortunate enough, who treated so many important uh, uh, child like uh, Ananya and uh, Mr. Aditya. So she was very happy to have uh, a release of book on Aditya on his uh, uh, notings in a form of the uh, autobiography uh, as he wrote by herself. Now, much more uh, important uh, made, uh, important suggestions made by Professor Ramdas Ji in this direction. And uh, he found that uh, on his own experience that autism suffering children are there in Madras, he visited. So how to make them, the atmosphere more and more conducive in the form of the cooperation, playing, singing, dancing, um, sharing, uh, sharing chocolate or distributing some sweets, they become happy. 
and their happy face is a great boosting, great pleasure to us all when we are um, taking care of them. So taking care of our, of our, our sick persons are very important. Dr. Varaji also in the very uh, last minutes also joined us and talked about the ECE and, and gave full attention and uh, emphasis that uh, students studying in BMS colleges are with the newer syllabus are asked to, to go for the uh, countryside to the society sector or villages to collect data by repeatedly visiting their families allotted to them and have a data collection by the end of the, their course of five years so that they will be in position to, to interact with the society to attend because uh, on tomorrow they will become doctor how to deal with the patient how to deal with that newer present uh, with their disease which he has not faced faced during his study period so it will be a good uh, feedback for him a sort of good experience that they will be having in the coming five years so uh, with these all remarks uh, made by our great speakers and our discussion panel i am very happy and very thankful for all these persons and our respect to all of our senior persons. I think uh, uh, it is now the time to pay respect to all of our persons and our thanks to all of our uh, guest speakers that they made our today's webinar a fruitful webinar with a, with a notion and cooperation that emotionally, if we will be much more closer and attached to or there to the sufferers the, the more they will give the response in positive and the coming future, say after four years, four, 10 years, 14 years, uh, see the Anna is, is, is ready to sing and uh, that uh, Aditya is uh, ready to write on the way. So this is what the uh, reality which encourages us also. So our webinar's topic will be fruitful if such type of activities will be done by our speaker by our students our our uh, all the social members or our clubs like rotary club lions club bharat pikas parishad and other other uh, platform they can come forward um, uh, lions club etc to to make them happy the sufferers thank you so much oh, uh, thank you very much and uh, i think uh, uh, dr pramoshama ji if he, he is not available we say good night and goodbye to all of you with all my respectful uh, take rest and enjoy. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Shubhratri. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> और डॉक्टर पवन शर्मा जी आप हैं प्लेटफॉर्म पर हरिओम हाँ सर बिल्कुल तो मैं आपकी आप... में उपस्थित हूँ अरे नहीं तो सर आप हमने क्लोज करने की घोषणा आप कर दीजिए हमने अपना अपना जिम्मेदारी इधर का कंप्लीट कर लिया है और सबसे गुड नाइट भी कर लिया है तो कल का प्रोग्राम बता दीजिए इस बीच अगर कल का सर फादर्स डे है अच्छा अच्छा डे है जी जी तो पर स्पीच है सिकल सेल पे डॉक्टर ए के द्विवेदी जी बोलेंगे और फादर्स डे पे वैद्य पारुल जोशी जी और एक जिनको फादर न होने का गम है ऐसे ही स्पीकर जी अच्छा आज आज लकीली आज हमारे प्रोफेसर भारत जी जुड़ गए थे जिनको हम क्वांटम थ्योरी के लिए इंतजार कर रहे हैं याद कर रहे थे आज उन्होंने भी अपने विचार रखे लास्ट में आके बड़े अच्छे विचार रहे उनके इसी वगैरह के बारे में आदरणीय कमलेश सर मेरे साथ जी मैंने तो कहा था एक बार आप स्क्रीन शेयर करा देते 
तो अभी तो सब लोग चले गए हैं आज हम बहुत सुनना ही था क्या नहीं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सभी को बहुत धन्यवाद आज डोमा जी नहीं मिल पाया नहीं मिल पाए क्योंकि कुछ उनको नेटवर्क की प्रॉब्लम हो रही थी मैंने चाहा था उनका आशी वचन भी प्राप्त हो जाते जी जी आज चर्चा नहीं हो पाई उनसे चलिए कल से मिलते हैं गुड नाइट गुड नाइट गुड नाइट थैंक यू सर गुड नाइट सर